So how are you able to make that switch? Because I see, I see that a lot. And I want to, I want to clarify when I asked that question, as soon as it left my mouth, I'm like, that didn't sound right. Because I didn't mean like, how do you do it from a skill set? I think back to, you know, my days of coaching college basketball, you operate with an edge. I mean, you do mm -hmm. like, that's just, you just, when you're in the fight, sometimes you get lost in, in the moment, right? You, you kind of sure. try to, you know, I always talk about running to the fight and you forget, like you talk about compassion and empathy. Well, that was that was one of the things as a coach, you think back to the, the best coaches you had growing up, they were the ones that connected with you, that got to know you on a personal level, that had compassion for whatever your story was, what was going on in your world, what your circumstances were. So that's because I'm so impressed by the fact that you can operate at such a high level in such a brutally competitive industry. But I think a lot of people struggle regardless of their space, regardless of the industry with, hey, I have compassion, I have empathy, right? But mm -hmm. I don't want that to be, I don't want that to be seen as a weakness. How were you able to finally realize that was actually a strength of yours? I think I've, I've been in enough difficult situations where I will be the first to admit my mentality for many years was the customer's always right. And I grew up working at Nordstrom, which is, you know, as we know, they're, they're on the pedestal for the customer always mm -hmm. being right. And you are taught to do whatever it takes. And in the last two, maybe three years, I've really switched my mentality and it's more about protecting my team. And if we have a difficult client and I have many stories of clients that have not treated us well, they haven't treated our candidates well, instead of being in it for the revenue, I'm, I'm in it for the, the ethics and really putting candidates in good work environments and believing in that client and wanting to do business with them. Right. And I'd say that's probably the biggest shift in where I'm, I'm using empathy for my team and protecting my team. And I've, you know, broken up with probably four or five clients in the last two months where mm -hmm. it just gets to a point where we're not interested. I, I don't right. need your revenue if it's going to you know, affect our culture or our, the emotions inside my organization, it's not worth it. 